Uh, I got involved about 10 years ago and this was one of the programs that we do that helps prepare our students as 11th graders to eventually compete in other scientific uh, competitions. We use this to develop their scientific writing style, um, to get their ideas flowing so they could actually start thinking about the research that they might want to be doing as seniors. You need to be able to collaborate, collaborate with other people. You need to bounce ideas off of one another. I tell them, like, when you're in a research lab, it's not a research lab of one person. It's a research lab of multiple different people with many different personalities. So these are skills that if they're going to be a future scientist, they're going to absolutely need to know how to master. Well, motivating them, uh, it is nice that in the past we have had definitely many uh, uh, honorable mentions. We've had a regional winner. Um, I do tell them about, you know, you, you could essentially win $10,000 savings bond, you know, a little bit of the, keeping your eye on the prize is not a bad idea. And um, since they've seen other people have had, you know, previous successes and they know it's an attainable thing, it does tend to absolutely help them. Oh, I learned a lot of, from my team. I did not know about the idea of them using uh, multi-walled uh, nanotubes, how they could uh, absorb different wavelengths of light. Um, in fact, almost every one of my teams, I had four different teams in my class, I learned a little bit new, I learned some new science from pretty much every one of my, class, my uh, teams. I think project-based stuff is, is so much more real world because when you're, when you're an employee, you're working with other people. When you're a research scientist, there are other people in your lab. You're also going to have to learn how to teach people things. I mean, I, we tell people, uh, the, our kids, and as scientists, one of the things is, you know, when you discover something, you have to be able to express that to other scientists or other people, and we have to know even how to speak in layman's terms. So there's a tremendous amount of real-world applications that th this type of learning has.